Hey, welcome back to Living 757. Now, ladies, across the nation, uh, peaceful mm -hmm. protesting over justice for George Floyd and systemic racism uh, has been overshadowed, obviously, by violence and looting. But that didn't stop faith based music artist legend here, right here in the 757 from leading a special prayer march in Norfolk over the weekend. Welcome back to the show, legend. How you doing, welcome man? Welcome back. Hi, welcome, doing, legend. Man? Good to see doing you. Doing great. great. Doing great. Now, real quick, legend, uh, what, what did you see around the world that brought this call to action right here in the city? Um, just a lack of my perception, a lack of concern about those that are saying there are racial injustices, there are things that aren't going right. And there's a lack of concern from people overall to care about that. And particularly, I care about the faith community's response. Sometimes it feels as though church has its head in the sand. And I know that's not always the case, but it feels that way and looks that way and has been in many ways. So we wanted to pull the church together for a unified, a unified response for Jesus and for justice for George Floyd. Awesome. Yeah. Now, was the response what you expected? Like, was the turnout what you expected for the prayer march? You know, it's weird, man. We, we have so many relationships that we, we knew it could be in the thousands. Um, and, you know, somewhere between 3,500 to 5,000 people came out. But um, ah. when you see the crowd, it's like, holy crap, this is really happening. Like, so <laughs> so it was what we expected, but it, it blew us all away at the same time. Like, it still doesn't feel real, you know? Yes, right. congratulations to you for that because uh, it was a successful event. Also, this crowd, how it felt to have a full support from the Norfolk Police Department. I mean, it felt great to have them there. Like, it was good that they, they weren't just there, like, policing the streets and, like, you know, saying go this way, but they're marching with us. So that always right. felt good. I mean, it's got to be a unified effort from those that are tasked to keep us safe and those that are in the community. So it just felt good to have everybody there. You have people all across the spectrum who don't know where they are on this conversation, who fight regularly, but everybody was unified. And that's what we wanted. So God is good. And, and I love and, that message because that's what the whole yeah. thing about, you know, like just yeah. to show a different side that the news also shows sometimes. They are the, the ugly part, but we want to show that it wasn't amazing. Yes. And yeah. speaking of all ends of the spectrum, there were people of all different faiths that took part in this walk as well, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, everybody was welcome. We had, we oh, focused cool. the, the messaging to the church community and all these different facets, but you had people there who don't have anything to do with church that showed up and everybody was just loving on everybody. And that's what we wanted. It. So it was good. Absolutely. And I know I was there firsthand to witness it. Um, and I brought my daughter. So, uh, you know, me, my wife and daughter, you know, and we saw families of all different colors and races out there uh, holding up signs. And so that was just a good sign, I think, just for people overall and, and just being able to walk alongside police officers. I think that that just kind of put the icing on the cake. Right, Patricia? Yes, yes, we love it, we love it. And thank you so much, Legend, for your time and for this amazing event that you guys put together. Thank you so much. Thanks for letting us be here, appreciate you.